Today we're going to take a look at the 2023 Ford F-150 XL. Now the XL is the very base model offered for the F-150. Most people would consider this as the work truck model. Now we're going to go over in this video the standard features and equipment that is now available for 2023 on the XL model. Now this XL is finished in Oxford white, which is definitely the most popular color uh, for the XL model. Now we're going to take a quick walk around the outside and I'll kind of point out different things that Ford changed for 2023. And then we will hop into the interior portion. Now this one has the XL chrome appearance package. So we do have a little bit of a spruced up front end here. Chrome bumper, again, just to kind of make it look a little more blingy. Uh, we have our headlights paired with a set of fog lights down there. We even have some recovery hooks there at the bottom. And powering this F-150 is the 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine. It's a twin turbo V6, makes 325 horsepower and 400 foot-pounds of torque, runs through a 10-speed automatic transmission. Now on the XL, this is a $1,600 upgrade, or at least here in Canada, it costs $1,600 on top of the base model engine. Now that 10 speed automatic transmission is actually standard across the board for the F-150. Previously you could get the six speed automatic, but Ford made that available. Now that's been the case for a couple of years now, but that still remains for 2023. Now this one does have the 17 inch aluminum wheels, which is actually standard for 2023 as well. Steelies are no longer the case. So we have a 17 inch aluminum wrapped in a 265 70 all terrain tire. There's the F-150 XL badging there on the side. And the mirrors do have the uh, blind spot mirror up in the corner. Nice fisheye lens. You can kind of see uh, maybe in a blind spot if you're towing. But we'll take a look at the window sticker for this particular XL. So see at the top, we do have the regular cab model. Again, finished in Oxford white. And here are some of the options that this particular one has. So again, we do have that 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine. We also have a locking diff. And there's the chrome appearance package. Trailer tow package, couple of things there. It brings the price to 57,385. Now these are Canadian dollars again. So to keep that in mind, we are in Canadian pricing, maybe a little higher price than you would see in the States, but that's what we pay up here in Canada. Now there is one thing I do want to point out on the window sticker and that is the equipment group. So you'll see here it says 101A. That is actually standard for 2023. Previously there was a 100A, which was the base model, like roll up windows, manual locks, that kind of thing. Uh, but Ford actually got rid of that and introduced 101A and then the 102A. Uh, so there are two equipment groups, Ford got rid of that. So power locks, power windows is actually now standard across the board for F-150. But again, this is the regular cab model with the eight foot box. So again, this is very much a work truck configuration. Of course, you have lots of space here in the bed. This one does have four wheel drive. But if we move our way to the back end here, we do have the chrome rear bumper, uh, which is thanks to that chrome appearance package. It also does house some rear parking sensors. Now that brings me to the driver assistance features, which are now standard for 2023. So here we do have rear parking sensors. We also have pre-collision assist. We have lane keeping system, driver alert, and a bunch of other stuff, uh, so which is actually now standard for 2023. And since 2018, the rear view camera is also standard, which is actually mandated by the government. So of course we do have the rear view camera. This one does have the tailgate step, which it does include the tailgate work surface. And we do have some tie dome hooks back here, so you can tie stuff down in all four corners. Again, eight foot length, so you have loads of space back here. Now we'll take a look into the interior of this XL. Now we do have the bench seat configuration, which is of course the only way you can get the regular cab. Uh, so you do have three uh, seating capacity for the XL model. And we do have these nice heavy duty cloth seats. So this is what I was talking about with the power equipment group. So we have power windows, power mirrors, and power locks. So that's again, standard for 2023. No longer you can get roll up windows or, or manual mirrors or manual locks. Power equipment group is now standard for 2023. We also have automatic headlights over here. Uh, we have fog light controls, bed lighting, as well as an electronic parking brake. And of course we have rubber floors. But we'll take a look at the interior a little bit closely where we do have the switchblade key. Now Ford Pass Connect is actually standard across every single new Ford vehicle, not just this F-150, but we do have Ford Pass Connect so you can remote start, you can lock, unlock. There's a bunch of other features through the Ford Pass app on your phone. But we'll fire up this 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine. Again, 325 horsepower and 400 foot-pounds of torque. Very, very, very uh, powerful engine for its size. And it's also one of Ford's most fuel efficient engines as well. Again, paired to that 10-speed automatic. And of course, we do have a nice column shifter, which a lot of people will appreciate. 
But here on the steering wheel, we do have the lane keeping system, which is one of the things, again, that is now standard for 2023. In fact, we will go into the Sync 3 display here in the middle, go into the driver assistance settings. Here we do have a bunch of standard features for 23. Lane keeping system, pre-collision assist, auto hold, we have parking sensors, driver alerts, all the stuff is now standard for 23, which is super, super nice to see. Now, if we take a general look around the interior of the XL, you'll see it's actually really nice in here for being a base model work truck. Um, one thing being the center screen here, so we do have the Sync 3 8 inch display. This includes uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you have Bluetooth, you can set up your phone. Uh, this one doesn't have navigation, but you can option in navigation if you want. And again, very nice high resolution screen here. And even the audio system does sound pretty good for being a base model regular cab F-150. We take a look at the climate control. We do have heated mirrors, which is also now standard for 23. So we have heated mirror controls. We also have some USB connections, both USB-C and also A. And this one having the trailer tow package, we do have the trailer brake controller. And if we even go into the center screen here, we do have a towing section, which will actually allow you to add a trailer. You can also run a trailer light check, trailer sway control. So all that is, comes with that trailer tow package. We also have our four wheel drive settings, four high and four low. This one does have the optional 355 locking rear differential. And again, we do have the bench seat configuration. So you can flip this up and you do have an extra seating capacity here in the front. We also have some additional outlets up here, USB, and then also 12 volt. So that's a quick rundown on the interior features that you get for the XL model and some of the driver assistance features again, well, which is now standard, which we love to see uh, for really integrating a lot of their driver assistance features as standard equipment. But that'll pretty much do it for this video. If you wanna see more F-150 XL content, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.